Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be listening to Jody 3 perform Better Go Home Now. Before I do, a little bit about who the band are. Dirty Three are an Australian instrumental rock band consisting of Warren Ellis on violin and bass guitar, Mick Toner electric and bass guitars, and Jim White drums. They formed in 1992. Their 1996 album Horse Stories was voted by Rolling Stone as one of the top three albums of the year. Two of their albums have peaked into the top 50 of the ARIA Albums Chart, Ocean Songs in 1998 and Toward the Low Sun in 2012. During their career they have spent much of their time overseas when not performing together. Turner is based in Melbourne, White lives in New York and Ellis in Paris. In 2010 Ocean Songs was listed in the book 100 Best Australian Albums. Australian rock music historian Ian McFarlane compared the band to 1970s jazz rockers Mackenzie Theory, writing that the group's rumbling dynamic sound incorporated open-ended improvisational electric rock minus the jazz rock histrionics. In describing the group's sound, music journalists have mentioned ballads, folk, rock, classical, chamber music, free jazz and blues, Celtic music, other folk styles and Indian raga. Nick Cave uh, in um, the 100 Best Australian Albums, which was published in 2010, said, Dirty Three are my favourite live band. No contest. I think it's because they don't have a singer. There are three musicians working together, one no less important than the other, and, well, you can get lost in all that. Their music washes over you and you're away. When I watch them, they ignite something. I start having grand plans and hundreds of lyrics leap into my head. So let's check this out. I haven't heard the Dirty Three in years. They did become quite popular in the 90s and then I haven't really heard much of them since, especially since Warren Ellis joined the Bad Seeds. So this is Better Go Home Now.
it was dirty three we better go go home now um, so this come off the soft title album which is our second major recording um, the album was recorded between 1993 and 1994 at studio 325 melbourne Kim's Dirt, um, one of the songs that features on the album, is a, a longer version to their other recording of the track, which was on their previous release, Sad and Dangerous. Cover art was by guitarist Mick Turner, Daddy Three, uh, Warren Ellis, uh, violin, space belt, piano, accordion. Um, Jim White drums, percussion, and McTurner guitars, uh, with uh, Tony Weisenbeek on harmonica and Annie Homer um, did the rear, rear sleeve photography. Karen H did the Dirty Three photography, and Kill, Phil McKellar produced and engineered the album. Um, so I think um, Nick Cave's comment about there not being a singer means that the um, the band can just feed off each other and um, just improvise and, and not have to worry about singing. Um, they're all good on their instruments and Warren may have even made violin cool, at least in a, a rock setting. Um, so that was the Dirty Three. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to support the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, it all helps. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.